back now at 542. Local nonprofit Portland Fruit Tree Project is gearing up for its largest fundraiser ever. Next Thursday, they're assembling a 500 foot char fruit tree board. I got to say that again. Char fruit tree. Oh, bit of a bit of a play on words there. Yeah, uh, they're celebrating this year's harvest season. Cor Harlan joins us live from Market of Choice on Southeast Belmont Street, showing us a few of the items that are headed to that massive charcuterie board. Good morning, Cor. Yeah, morning, Ken. Doesn't sound right to say that how you're saying it. Kind of sounds like you got peanut butter in your mouth a little bit. But anyway, it's a it is a charcuterie uh, table here, uh, but. We have assembled one here at the Market of Choice this morning, sort of as a replication of what they're trying to put together and will put together next Thursday. They are attempting to put together a 500-foot charcuterie board, and it's all to raise money for the Portland Fruit Tree Project. Standing next to me here is Heather from the uh, Executive Director of the Portland Fruit Tree Project. Thank you for getting up this early this morning. My pleasure. You're, uh, you're, you harvest an urban farm, so I don't know if you do it at 5 o'clock in the morning, but anyway, thanks for being out here. First of all, this is a fundraiser for Portland Fruit Tree Project. First, tell us what Portland Fruit Tree Project does. Absolutely. We care for and harvest from the fruit trees that feed and shade our neighborhoods. So our most visible program is our Backyard Harvest program, where we help homeowners who have more fruit that they can handle, and we redistribute it through partner organizations to people who need fruit. It's an awesome deal. Good way to uh, not waste food. Perfectly good food that's growing on a tree. It yep. often just falls to the ground and turns into soil, I guess, right? Otherwise. More or less. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have assembled uh, here this morning some of the items uh, that will be on this charcuterie board or shark fruit tree board or whatever they're going to, we're going to call it. It's next Thursday. It's going to be 500 feet long. But it, I want to point out to you that a lot of items on this board are going to be locally made items. Front and center right here. Rogue Creamery, some of their award-winning cheese right here. These are crackers made in Beaverton. These are pickles made in, what do we say, Langley, Washington? Langley, Washington out here. So as much of an emphasis on local products as possible. Here's some King Harvest hummus right here, Carl. And again, you have that right in front of that. Portland Creamery, some artisan goat cheese, and the list goes on and on. Some Durant olive oil out here from, uh, from wine country is right there, and a million other things in between. Um, Heather, if you could now, so tell us how folks can get tickets, what a ticket will get you. This, is at, this event is at the Red next Thursday night. Tell me a little bit more about how people can get involved, get a taste of some of these products, and, and get tickets. Absolutely. Tickets can be found most easily on our website, so portlandfruit.org. Mm -hmm. There's banners and buttons and everything you can think of. Beautiful. It is $35 at the most entry level. That gets you two passes through all 500 feet of the board. And we will have specific sections for vegans, for gluten-free people. So people who are like, oh, I don't want meat. I don't want to go to a charcuterie event. To Still it. come to this yeah. charcuterie event because it's going to be so much more than just meats. Yeah. Um, so you get two passes through with your $35. And then you can also hang out in the courtyard. We have got flash tattoos, a dog grazing area, not to eat dogs, for the dogs to eat. Uh, and then the bar will be outside and we'll have DJ Sappho as well. So it should be a great party. Sounds like a great event. A great event at the Red. It's in, Southeast, uh, it's in the Southeast Industrial Area. Look it up online. And go again, portlandfruittreeproject.com for tickets. Portlandfruit.org. Portlandfruit.org. Org. Sorry about that. Portlandfruit.org. A great event. This is going to be a lot of fun, Ken and Emily. It's making me a little bit hungry being out here in front of all this good-looking food early in the morning here like that. Uh, but this is going to be, uh, imagine this, 500 feet long going through the red there and uh, being able to take a couple passes through there. I mean, uh, you got to get your walking shoes on just to go halfway through the line, it sounds like. <laughs> to me. This will be another project for the Portland Neat event for the Portland Fruit Tree Project. It is very cool. Thanks, Corey. It looks like the charcuterie board of my dreams. We've, we've featured a lot of those local companies on the yeah. show over the years, and that is all really good stuff. It's oh, yeah, adult, very adult tasty. Lunchables. They are adult lunchables. They really are. <laughs> yeah, I think becoming an adult is figuring out that you can have a charcuterie board for dinner, and no one can tell you otherwise. This is true. This is true. Life hack. I also Just love put how cheese on there's always, you know, 10-plus types of cheeses that you get to learn about, too. Oh, oh yeah, there's so always one that I've never tried. Yeah. Try new never things, enough yeah. cheese. <laughs> mm -hmm. 